I need to be careful with this substance. Yo, what's going on? It's someone that's no one, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report is coming from Noble Experimenter, off Earwood, when this happened, 2006. The drug used was fentanyl, at a dose of 150 micrograms, the route administration, transdermal and oral, gender, male, weight, 140 pounds, and his prior experience includes codeine, hydrocodone, oxycodone, pethidine, morphine, dilated, and tramadol. Okay, so today we're finally here to have our first report on fentanyl, a pretty well-known opioid substance, one that has taken out many, as it often can be mixed in with street opioids, like Percocet or heroin, or even other drugs, like Xanax or cocaine. This has led to many overdoses in all kinds of users, and can be very dangerous for many. It's about 40 times as strong as heroin to give you an idea of what fentanyl can be like, which, I mean for many people, heroin itself is already a big no. But even then, heroin itself is most likely not going to be pure anyways. But in this report, this is of a user who got fentanyl patches, because if you aren't aware, fentanyl is actually prescribed and used medicinally, which we'll talk more about after the report. This is the user's first time on it, and once they decide to take it orally, we just see how strong this substance can get. I'm sure you'll enjoy this, so without further ado, let's dive right into this. I was able to obtain four patches that had been used and removed after two days. One was 75 micrograms, and three were 25 micrograms. I wore the patches simultaneously for four and a half hours, and felt a bit of a high, though not much. I then cut them open, and tried to put the gel on a cigarette, but the inside of the patches were dry, so I thought that my physical feelings were psychosomatic. I then looked the inside of one of them and sucked on the inside of the other three for about a minute maximum. Since I had read about the other bad experiences by people who had sucked on them for too long, I honestly didn't expect anything to happen, but after several minutes, began to feel an opiate high. Upon looking in the mirror, I saw that my pupils were constricted. Not pinpoints, but much smaller and non-reactive to light. Over the course of the next two hours, it seemed to get stronger, and I noticed my pulse was much faster, though that could have been anxiety due to fear of having taken too much of this drug. Seven hours after beginning this experiment, I tried to go to sleep, but it was a broken sleep, and I have several vivid dreams. It's now the next day, and I have a hangover feeling, which surprises me given that the patches seemed empty when I cut them open. If my reaction to the patches was so strong when they seemed empty, I can only imagine what using a full strength patch could do, especially if not used as directed. I strongly caution those who want to try fentanyl to be extremely careful, since I am convinced it is easy to overdose on this drug. I should add that I am not opiate naive. I have used codeine, hydrocodone, oxycodone, demerol, morphine, dilated, and tramadol. I have a general idea of how much my body can take, and I think I cannot take a lot of fentanyl. I might try this again, but would even be more cautious. Okay, so fentanyl, where should we even start with this? Well, other than being known to be cut in common street drugs and leading to many overdoses, if you aren't aware, fentanyl can actually be prescribed and used for surgical procedures. With Fentanyl being a very potent opioid substance, it acts as a very strong pain reliever. By the description of it so far, it's not a surprise it is limited to the more severe types of pain, like that caused by cancer, or like some kind of chronic pain you may have from some condition. It most likely only will be prescribed when your pain is long term, and you've already tried weaker painkillers that aren't as effective anymore. But fentanyl is so strong, they will pretty much never give it to you by oral ingestion. Often, they will offer it as a patch, as seen in today's report. Also, nasal sprays are common, injection, or they may give you a tablet to absorb sublingually. But, you may also notice that the dose with fentanyl is super low, going into the micrograms, which we typically only see with something like LSD. But for fentanyl, 100 micrograms would probably be too much. And this is kind of a shitty aspect about the substance. This is a big reason why it's considered so dangerous. You barely need any of the substance at all. 
If you were trying to eyeball milligrams, that's a pretty hard ass task in itself, but trying to eyeball micrograms is pretty much next near impossible. We see this becomes very apparent with Noble Experimenter, as the patches he took orally weren't even filled and he was still able to get a really strong reaction out of it. And because of this, it isn't a surprise that this substance has led to many overdoses. Those cutting it may not even care very much as to how much they put in, and if the substance you get is a powder, you're probably even at more risk because who knows how much of that powder is fentanyl and how much of it is the substance you actually want, if it's there at all. For all you know, you can end up doing a few milligrams worth, which by the books, that would be easily enough for a lethal dose. People are often just scared to be in the same room with fentanyl, just by the chance you may inhale some, or it just getting on your skin and it being absorbed that way. This is especially a concern for those without an opiate tolerance. Even with a tolerance though, and much experience with various opioids, fentanyl still showed to be a very strong substance for Noble Experimenter. But there is a high sun do seek out actually. Granted, these individuals most likely are acting upon an already established tolerance, thus making fentanyl more fitting for their usage. Which the addiction of this is by no means a smooth road. If you have an idea for how heroin withdrawals can be, expect that, but probably to be worse. And if you don't know what can come up during an opiate withdrawal, to give you an idea, you can expect intense cravings for the substance, you can end up in a world of pain and agony, you may have no appetite accompanied by nausea and vomiting, you'll probably feel like a vegetable and that you can barely do anything, you'll probably feel restless and like you can't sleep, on top of this, you may have anxiety and just a bunch of other discomforting effects that makes this a very unpleasant withdrawal. Even the high of it may be considered unenjoyable by some, but chances are you aren't looking to try fentanyl at all if you aren't into opiates. But outside of the potential euphoria and other recreational effects, the experience can set you up with constipation, nausea, respiratory depression, it can make you extremely sedated, which may end up in vomit asphyxiation, if not careful, appetite loss, loss of sex drive, and a drop in blood pressure and heart rate may also occur. But fentanyl is without a doubt the full deal of an opioid. It is considered one of the strongest and most dangerous, but still has practical applications in the medicinal world. Most won't even humor the idea of taking it, especially when you hear that it's 40 times stronger than heroin. That'll just throw about anyone away from this substance. But we're going to end it there for today. If you guys did enjoy this video on fentanyl, want to see more on opioids or any substance at all, let me know in the comments below and we can do that. If you have your own report you want to see, send it in to knowandsubmitreport at gmail.com. If you want to see exclusive trip reports not on the channel, follow my Patreon, links in the description. And if you did enjoy this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow the socials, share the video. It's been someone that's no one, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.